Today in Apple News, another iOS 12 beta, important security PSA, and a weird glitch I found. No, it's not the keyboard glitch. I'm Matt Scour. Let's get started. So just recently, Apple released another beta, iOS 12 Developer Beta 10. This one just includes more bug fixes and performance improvements. Now, an interesting tidbit about this one is some news sites are reporting that iOS 12 is the same as Public Beta 9. But if you've ever tried to update to Public Beta Find, you will find it does not exist. iOS 12 Developer Beta 10 is the same as Public Beta 8. There is no Public Beta 9. Now here's why they are confused. When Public Beta 1 was released, it was the same as Developer Beta 2. They were one behind each other. So they would think that it's still the same. But when Developer Beta 7 was released and was taken back down, there was no public beta to go with it, so now they are two apart. So we are in Developer Beta 10, Public Beta 8. Now, as a public service announcement, 72 million T-Mobile and AT&T account PIN numbers have been compromised. This has to do with a security hole in Apple and in other companies' websites where they could be brute forced. So if you have T-Mobile or AT&T, change your PIN number just as a precaution, just in case. Now I found this really weird glitch. So this is how you normally see your notification center. This is how it ends up with the glitch. So it has to do with if you swipe down into your notification center, and you just keep going like up and down like this. See, like there, it's lower. You see that? If I keep going, I can usually get it lower. See, like that. Lower than it should be. All the way down there. When it should be up there. It's really noticeable right here. You can try to play around with yourself and get it to work. It's just really weird that this is in iOS 11 because it's it's been around for so long. And it was so buggy. And this is why iOS 12 is here now. And I don't think they're going to push out another iOS 11 update because iOS 12 is kind of just a continuation of iOS 11, because all the iOS 11 devices will be able to update to it. I'm Ice Scour. Thanks for watching. Bye.